All right, welcome back to another installment of me playing Resident Evil 4. I have sad news to report. Apparently, the subtitle option is only available if you play the game in a different uh, language option. I, I think it's language audio, I believe. I think. I don't know. I'm only going to be playing this in English. So, looks like we're going without subtitles. That's actually kind of upsetting to hear. So, that's where we left off. Those guys are probably pissed that we just made it this far in. No point in turning back now. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't want to deal with the mob again. Is there even anything in between the little crevices here? I, 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 I doubt it. Hey, it's the merchant. Merchie. <laughs> Sorry, merchant. I hope I didn't say a slur, because I'm actually kind of worried sometimes. I'll, I'll say something cute, and then, you know, I, I end up saying, like, a slur. It's fine. We will cross that bridge if it ever occurs. Damn it. I saw I, I saw the little, you know, spring load of fella, and then I'm like, damn. Damn, why does the merchant just take the take the gold? Alright, I'll just open up all these little barrels and boxes and just move on afterwards. This will never not get annoying here, just saying. Ashley's got too much to work Welcome. with. So I also looked at a guide. I messed up in getting the Some items for the um on sale. What are you selling? for the uh, materials here. What was it? These right here. I actually screwed up in this regard. No wait. No wait. Cat's eye. Yeah, I I actually messed up here in this regard. I think you got the red piece for the cat's eye in chapter one two. And the beer sign, I have no freaking clue. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can check out the map, right? Oh no, oh no, this is this is just, just for the castle. Hmm, I can't tab to the other parts of the... It's like the village. So that's how you know I can't go back. Uh... Shoot. I think I'd have this figured out by now, right? Okay, key treasures. So I'm missing two pieces. I can't combine anything else, right? I know those are like the commonly, re you know, found items. And by common, I just mean stuff you can find easily. What are you so I'm just selling? gonna sell these two. Oh wait a minute, the cave where you found the merchant. Yeah, that's what it was. I'll just sell these. What are you selling? Uh. Is that all? <laughs> oh no no. Is that all? <laughs> Thank what are you buying? Attaché case. L, let's do it. <laughs> Go big. Thank you. Is that all? Treasure map. <laughs> That's gonna be very Thank useful. You. I hear you're actually recommended to actually buy your weapons as you go along. What are you buying? I will not do that. I want to play with the base weapons. I think I did that for professional as well. It's a. It is interesting. And gun. Look at all these pistols I can use right now. Damn. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Thank. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think that's good. I'll just save and move on. <clears throat> I don't like saving as soon as you start a chapter, but it's fine. Let's just do this. Speaking of the Resident Evil demo, I did not know you can get the uh, TMP gun. If anyone wants a quick little summary, discard everything you have in your attaché case. And then go down into the well. And then, and only then, can you get the uh, TMP gun. I believe the well is blocked off. Um, if you still have even like one item in your case. Oh, oops. I guess I just shoot one of them, right? Oh boy, I don't have a lot of sniper ammo. I have to make it count. 
I'm pretty sure on easy, these guys should pop heads pretty easily. Oh. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I see him right there. Shoot, he's running. Oh, damn. I thought it was safe. I heard that little grunt, grunt and I'm like, damn. Jesus, Ashley, duck down. Like, like, I can do this to her, right? She's gonna... Oh. Well, maybe she does that in, normally without the outfit. Outfit? Look at that cult member right there. Holy shoot. What sucks too was that I was gonna... <laughs> Instinctively go there. I think I always do that playing as an evil four. Wait, I need to snipe them out, I believe. If I can just snipe them out, that'll take care of a lot of the difficulty in running away. Oh no, the perspective blocks me. Shoot. No, 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 I see him. Okay, I can just hide behind this little ledge. Is that it? Is it safe? I see a red barrel I can shoot. Oh, was I supposed to shoot the barrel? In regards to my last episode of this game, I really should have saved more. That's how much I kind of forgot in terms of the layout of the game. I mean, it's pretty linear, right? You can't really diverge as much. But that just goes to show you how much I kind of forgot in terms of playing this game. Damn it! I'm only like seven minutes in. We're not going to continue. We're going to reset. I'll make sure to shoot the red barrel this time. Wait, I actually don't have full health. I just realized. Well, you want to snipe these guys, right? I mean, they even give you rifle ammo, so... Contextually, yes, you want to snipe them as soon as possible, right? Holy shoot, I thought I got him for a two-for-one. Oh. Are you kidding me? I was off by a little bit. Yeah, see, there's like a guy up here I gotta shoot down. I don't even see his head though, that's the problem. Jesus. Don't know if I actually would have died though. I don't see him anymore. Okay, and I know there's nothing there I can grab. Gotta shoot the red barrels. I wonder if they're gonna keep the barrels. I do admit it does make it easy. But that is fine by me.
Holy shoot. Yeah, the, yeah, the, these are the guys with, with the mask on. Oh yeah, one thing of what I forgot to mention about me playing the remake. Is that you can't like really... No wait, actually, I actually forgot. Can you hit fire weapons in the remake? I should really load that. Load up Resident Evil 2 or 3 at least and just check them out. I actually completely forgot. It's been so long since I've played 3 in particular, but I do play 2. I've been playing that on my Steam Deck for a while now. But I actually forgot. I should clear the path. Nope. I, I actually hear people coming over, I believe. If you take too long... I think that's what it is, right? You can hear the occult members coming. So you have to actually hurry it up. At least I swear to god I'm hearing them. Maybe it's just that one guy who, like, you can hear pretty damn far. I think if you don't do this correctly, you're gonna... You have to start over. Damn, look at all that brick and mortar come out. I swear there were enemies up to this point. Holy shit, what if we killed the merchant? Welcome. That actually would have been a little upsetting. Got some rare things. What, what the hell are he's tuning up? Oh, wait a minute. It's all my other weapons. <clears throat> Come back wait. Wait, I should have checked out the uh, bangle. What are you selling? Is that all straight? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Hmm. Pretty sure I can just sell it, but let me double check. Maybe I'll just sell the items at the end of at the end of a chapter. Doesn't look like I can combine it. <clears throat> Any treasures I'm gonna run into later on when we're actually inside the castle? Yeah, I don't think you can hit fire. Leon, where's your no, 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 no. You can have fire weapons in Resident Evil. But it looks like it was a bad move. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. I need you to... What? Repeat, Hunnigan. Great. Just my luck. Yep, let's take the sword. Oh, I, I remember this segment now. That's a severed head. Sometimes I wonder if I actually missed the, the red herb. Coming both ways, huh? And at the bottom, I have a grenade I can use. I know it's a flash one. That guy, that guy literally didn't get hit by it. Holy shoot. Aww. Get 
damn, I should have saved my my grenades for later. Oh, that's gross seeing it up close. The red man. Okay, he's coming this way, so I can just go here. Oh, shoot. I do like how the gameplay in Remake is basically a modernized take. Of the original. Like, the fact that you can't just hit fire weapons. Like, in the other remakes. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah, I'm I'm really going off on that. Not for any bad reason. I I just like how they just basically modernize the game, and you can parry too. Holy shoot! I, I, you really do need the, the uh, flash grenades. You need to conserve them. There's more. Well, he went down pretty quick. Oh, there's the red man. I'll get ahead once and then I'll just use the herb. I don't know if I can spear run this in the remake. Yeah, platinum goes there and gold goes at the bottom. Because they're obviously played it differently, right? I like how we're back outside. Leon! Lewis! I've got something for you guys. Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He's better with the ladies, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. I'm sure he was behind the whole incident. I have not read a single memo this playthrough, but I believe that is to be the case. Yeah. How far can I go without interacting the cutscene? <laughs> uh, there is a treasure up ahead at the top. Where was it? It has to be further up. Nope, it's literally right here in the middle. Oh. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply... Become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Damn, how smoothly on. <laughs> I 
Just the way of how he makes his delivery. We'll find a cure. Now where's the treasure? I see it now. I'm, do I'm just doing the moonwalk. Purple gem. Wait. The purple gem? Ah, oh, crap. I sold it. Or maybe there's multiple items that use the purple gem. Shoot, I'm actually curious now. No, no, because I'm pretty sure I, ha I actually picked one up earlier. I think there's multiple items that use the same... No, no. I th no, no, I think there's multiple unique items that make use of the more rarer stuff in the game. Like the gems. Maybe the cat saw. I actually forgot. I'm gonna have to look at another guide. I only really value treasure guides for the obvious reason, right? <clears throat> Gotta go this way then. Oh, she is this part of the game. Am I well equipped? Fire grenade. I don't want to trigger the horde that comes out later. Wait. Let me make the... Like this. Hmm, I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo. I should probably conserve them at this point. Oh, I need a key? Oh, one of these guys has to drop a key then. I think that's kind of important, just saying. Oh, you use that. Yeah, I thought guys came out. I have to save that little candle up there for later. <clears throat> no treasures, right? I think I can move on. <clears throat> I actually want to see this fight in the game. In Remake. It's gonna be nice. It's interesting how this guy can only detect sound, right? That's how you feel like I'm almost done with the fight. He destroyed all the, all the bells. You know, I'm just gonna throw my fire grenade. I'm pretty sure it's not meant for the fight, but we shall play it this way. God, this guy's getting close. Oh boy. Damn it. You know, I could try sniping him. I've done it before. I just don't feel proud in doing it.
Where's the ad again? Gotta make these sharp turns. Wait, he, he's almost dead. Damn it. Do I dare redo the fight? Because I feel like I could have played this a lot more efficiently. I actually legitimately did not see this guy. You know, playing on a controller, I actually value quick turn. But playing on a computer, I mean, a keyboard and mouse, I kind of don't. Damn it. It's only a damn moment because I think I, 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 I thought I had it. It's funny because my general rule with shotguns in Resident Evil games is I assume like everybody else's. You use them for like the harder fights in the game or like the bosses at least. I don't do that. Uh, what sucks too is that these items are basically RNG, right? Wait. Wait, there's shotgun ammo up there. How do I get it? I actually never noticed that. Huh. That is actually news to me. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and it's because of the smoke that the other Illuminados don't come out until that's cleared. Okay. Ah, makes sense. Oh, yeah, how could I forget about this? Wait, was there something here? I think it fell. Yeah, it does fall. I think if you hit continue, he's still like waiting for you, right? But he's not locked up anymore. Oh shoot, I, uh, I scared him. I actually forgot if this guy's helmet comes out sooner or later. This guy is dead as soon as I can cancel my reloads. I wish there was reload canceling in this game.
I'm going the other way. Oops. I think you're supposed to be close to like a wall, I believe. Because you really want him to get stuck, right? Oh, that was all I have. Oh, shoot, that's all I have? I really have to stick close to like a wall, huh? And then this guy's toast. You have to really instigate this guy. Damn it. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep reloading my save. Let's do it. I think given with how hasty I was with shotgun ammunition, I should probably hold off. Until later. Wait, that's some pretty good RNG. All the shotgun ammo I got? Damn. Wait, I, I forgot to shoot it down this time. Wait. I thought they gave you a green herb. I'm pretty sure you got the other materials along the way. I don't like seeing that actually. Damn, this guy exposed his back to me. I'm actually shooting, shooting this little fella. I also forget you can just hold down on your triggers. I actually clenched on my seat for that one. Kinda far. I didn't snipe him. I know he reacts to sound.
Look at him just flail his arms that way. I know you're stuck. I gotta shoot the bell. Man, did you see that guy like spin around? Holy shoot. I messed up. Holy crap. Okay, good. He's finally dead. It was gonna work eventually. Wait, was there something else I'm missing? I actually didn't check out the cell. down anytime now. I just wonder there were like 10 of these guys. Maybe it's difficulty um, dependent. I just wonder that there was like a red guy too. Whatever, that just means it's easy for me. For this one playthrough. Oh no, I see him. Damn it. At least they killed themselves, that's fine. Wait, there's one guy here. I'm showing no mercy to this dude. Here's the infamous water room. This is gonna be hard. Well, not hard, but... It's gonna take a while. I, I could have sworn this was actually difficult in the higher difficulties. I think it took me like two hours to like do this the first time I played it. I mean, it's gonna be easy this time around for me. You can use Ashley on right. Because because she's uh, a little hard to work with, right? You can just do that, right? Have the enemies grab her. They will literally mess up and then... Yeah, I mean... Just knife the ones that like, try to like, capture her, right? I should really conserve my ammo though. I also forgot these guys are also easy. Wait, I believe they are endlessly spawning too, right? That I don't remember. I'm pretty sure Ashley is safe. So I can actually afford a rescue play like this. Oh, 
Oh! Thought the sparks fly out. Oh crap. Wait a minute, I have one of these. Look how deep I'm carving these guys. Oh, shoot. Christ. Look how, look how close those guys spawn. Actually kind of scary up close. Looks like they're closed on both ends. Can I even access them? Oh, those rooms are actually closed. I wonder if they'll be accessible in Remake. That would be kind of... Oh, shoot! Yeah, I was wondering why like the uh, background music is still playing. I used to go in here. Try to have them get a, get a corralled in. Any ashes like literally be in here. Shouldn't there be like... Oh, yep. They have to be coming this way. I still hear people. Wait. I think they'll sooner grab Ashley before they bother attacking me, right? Okay, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna shotgun my way. that we get to hide that little painting over there.
I believe it just literally goes straight ahead, but you need to have Ashley to be up there, huh? And then I believe this ends the actual part of the chapter. Gotta make sure I'm ready, though. Shotgun shells for up close enemies. And sniper ammo for the to help out Ashley. Doesn't matter which side you take, she'll eventually find her way around. I don't know if he would have grunted regardless of the uh, night armor. Watch out for me. I'm to test out my sniping skills. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, oh, she look at that one guy right there. I think he sees me. Yep, he definitely does not. Oh, thank God. Whew. I wonder if I can get him when, when he's like on the floor. I can't see his face. Oh, I can actually jump over. Interesting. That felt cool. Damn. That guy actually can't shoot. Okay, I have to actually use the herb. No, and actually what I can do is combine these two. Do that. The thing about the plot gust is that headshots are the reason why they appear, right? So you really mitigate that risk by just uh, knifing them, right? That's why finishing enemies through the knife is probably recommended. You're only really screwed if those guys actually turn into plot gusts, but I don't think they do. At least I don't believe that to be the case. I'm gonna need a lot of chiropractory by the time this is over. It's a save point. That's our that's our destination. Gotta check the treasures. Oh, shoot it. It's one of those rooms. Welcome. You know, I think I can do a bit of a detour for the shooting range. Things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> yep, let's do it. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? 
Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> oh. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. I forgot if you can do the cutscene. And then come back. How'd I get that treasure up there? I believe I see a staircase. Wait. Yeah, I believe you go there later. So I think I am well accounted for for the time being. Wait, where's the typewriter again? Right here. Ooh, 3.30. Okay. Follow me. Shooting an Ashley and man, this merchant has fun apparently. Those slides are going to obscure my vision, huh? Oh, shoot. We'll do that again. I did it worse. It's an Ashley this time. Damn it. Target.
I do like how like each of the experiences are like slightly different. Maybe I should do a separate recording for this. Oh, I got six bottle caps already? Oh, shoot. Oh, so maybe I just didn't really need to do this then, huh? By shooting all targets except Ashley or scoring above 3,500 points. Oh, okay, so it's either or. I actually read that, but I just kind of let it go through my head. I guess I should quit after each instance just to confirm, right? Alright, I can move on. My percentage keeps going between like low 70s to like high 60s. That's the one thing of what I picked up on. Oh, well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. <sighs> but it's nice to know what my accuracy is with a controller, though. At least in the context of a survival game. Not, not, not like I'm complaining per se. I forgot what happens afterwards. I thought the water room was elsewhere. Um, I know you can like inside some kind of cart ride sooner or later. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Drink too much carbonated water. Freaking over for me. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I've been sipping on throughout this entire recording. Damn, uh, pretty good tasting water. It's that, uh, liquid death water, but, uh, enough about that, um. Yeah, so far the plot's kind of coming together, right? Hopefully we can play more of Luis in the, in the remake. And hopefully they actually do expand upon it, because he does say some things like what he said in the, uh, in the middle of the chapter, right, you know? Oh, I wish things could have been a little different, you know? He probably made the virus a bit. Or, like, assisted, because I know he is a scientist. And he did mention that there was, you know, a sample of the T virus, right? In chapter 2, I believe? Yeah, chapter, I mean, uh, chapter 1-2. Talking about such things, so who knows? Maybe we'll expand more upon this. I did see uh, a leak uh, of a screenshot between a conversation between him and somebody else. So hopefully they do expand upon that. Oh yeah, you know how like in Resident Evil 2, they had those like those like what if stories of the guys who like you know you you get to play in that mode. I don't want to say any spoilers if no one has played remake two yet or like the uh, the original. But yeah, it'd be interesting if the we got that back again, either in the base game or as DLC. I can see it being a DLC if they ever decide to do something similar to that. I believe it was called like the Ghost Files or something like that. I forgot. Let me let, let me look it up actually. Oh no, ghost survivors. Yeah, there we go. Maybe they could do that here. Imagine playing as the villager who like survives when like all of his friends and family turn into like the Ganados. That'd be something. <laughs> 